been. We've read some stories, and we've done some phonics, and we've done our sight words. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten golden coins. Ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now we buy twos. Two. Four, six, eight, ten. Mm. I bet we could do some equations together with these. Let's see. If a leprechaun brings me one, two, three golden coins. But that same leprechaun brought my brother one, two, three golden coins. How many golden coins did the leprechaun bring my house? Let's see. If the leprechaun brought me one, two, three golden coins. So I'm going to write the number three. Three. Oh, that's one of our sight words. Three. T-H-R-E-E. -E. Three. Three golden coins. But then that same leprechaun brings my brother. So he's adding putting together three golden coins. So we're going to use our plus sign. Three more golden coins brought us the same amount. That is a total of how many coins are at our house? One, two, three, four, five, six, three plus three equals six. The leprechaun brought me three coins and brought my brother three coins. So we're putting them together to figure out how many are total in our house. We have six. <gasps> our sight words, three, T-H-R-E-E -E and six, S-I-X, six. Three plus three equals six. Now, hmm, if I have six coins, how many more do I have to equal 10? So we have six coins. And we want to know how many more we have to add. So put together, add, put together, that's our plus sign. How many more do we have to put together to equal, equal 10? So how many do we have to add to equal 10? So we have six. Use my finger. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm counting on like on a number line. Six, then seven, then eight, nine, ten, and stop because that's the number we want. Let's see. So I had four fingers. Let's see if we add four coins. So I'm going to put down one. 
two, three, four coins. So we have six. I'm adding four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So six and one, two, three, four that we added equals ten. Six plus four equals ten. That's our equation. Remember, equation is a fancy word for a number sentence. But hmm, I wonder where we can find the same structure for some of our numbers. So we have how many? How many coins do we have? I forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now remember, a 10 is a 1 in the tens place and a 0 in the units place. So we have 10. We look at this circle. Do you see that shape? Look at that little circle. 10. I wonder how many I can catch with it. Oh. 10. Take away one, two, three. So if we're taking away, show me that minus symbol. Show me how we take it away. Take it. So we have 10 and we're going to take away one, two, three. And how many do we have equal? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So 10 take away three equals seven. 10 minus three equals seven. So now, how many do we have left? We have, let's count these again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what we can do here. Seven, hmm. How many of my bracelet can scoop up this time? Seven, take away take away how many? Seven, take away. So our take away is our minus symbol. Take away one. Two, seven, take away two equals, how many are left? One, two, three, four, and five. Seven takes away two equals Seven minus two equals five. Remember, Miss Poole always puts that line on her sevens. Not everybody does that. Sometimes people write things a little different. So that's going to be the start of our math lesson. I want you guys to think about, hmm, how do I put things together? And how do I take things away? What do they equal? If I need to figure out what's left, how do I do that? Hmm. How can, what can I find 10 of in my house? Hmm. Can you find 10 of anything in your house? You tell me. I can't.
Can't wait to see what you discover. Peace. I love you. Miss Pool.